One of the government's top scientific advisers says it's critical to speed up the rollout of the COVID vaccine booster. Millions of eligible people are yet to get their third jab, and that's causing some concern, with both cases and deaths going up. So here are today's figures from the government. In the last 24 hours, it's reported more than 43,000 new cases, the seventh day in a row of cases above 40,000. And there have also been 223 new deaths, and that's the most since early March. Well, those numbers have been steadily rising over the past few months. What's behind it then? Danny Sinha has been looking at all the data and what's it told you, Danny? What's going on here? Well, it is complicated, but we were, of course, one of the first countries to roll out the vaccine. But I'm afraid to say we are now lagging behind. Daily infection rates, as you just uh, told us for today, they're at the highest rate since three months and hospital admissions also creeping up. In fact, we have the highest, one of the highest rates now in Europe. So why is that? Well, let's hear from virologist Jennifer Rohn. European countries are doing more with masks and vaccine passports. But another thing that we need to keep in mind is that the UK was a very early adapter of vaccines. And as such, we are now, our immunity is now waning uh, sooner than other people who started vaccinating later. So right now is when, if you've only had two jabs, the immunity is starting to go down, especially for AstraZeneca, which we have relied on quite heavily in this country. So it's not surprising. And this is why booster shots are so important. And that's just right. And today, of course, we heard from Professor Neil Ferguson. You remember, he was key. He was one of the architects of us going into that first lockdown. And he similarly said, we all need to have those booster shots when we are invited. He also said that teenagers also need to get vaccinated as well. And we are now, of course, entering the half-term break. And the government made the announcement today confirming the National Booking Service would be opened up to all 12 to 15 year olds to have their jabs in vaccination centres. OK, well, you talk about the half term break, but of course, we're also going into the winter period. So are things yeah. just going to get worse? Well, I'm afraid we always knew that COVID cases were also going to go up. And of course, it's the seasonal flu season. So you've got to add that to the mix. That's why it's really important to get that booster jab when those invitations come forward. And incidentally, uh, more than half of people over 80 have in England already received their booster jab. But I suppose the flip side of that is a million people who have been invited haven't. Now, another interesting fact, there are actually 4.8 million people across all ages in England who are eligible to have that booster jab, but they still haven't had it. Let's hear now from Dr. Sarah Jarvis. It's incredibly important that people who are over 50 or otherwise eligible for a booster do come forward for their boosters. But I would urge everybody who is invited to come forward for a booster to do so, because it is our best way of topping up your immunity and reducing your risk of ending up in hospital. No room for complacency here, Sean. I'm afraid COVID has certainly not gone away. And vaccines, of course, always our best route out of the pandemic. Now, the government says they're currently reviewing plans. There are currently no plans, in fact, to reintroduce, if you like, that mask wearing or that work from home policy that we saw earlier in the year. But they're keeping a close eye on those hospital admissions and those rising COVID rates. And things could change mm. if they have to. And we'll keep an eye on them too. Danny, thanks.